everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. Uh, here I am printing a Voron Design uh, test cube, version 7, and uh, on my V2, Voron V2 printer with the Rapid Burner tool head, um, I am using a Rapido UHF Plus hot end with a CHT 0.4mm uh, nozzle, um, and I'm printing this at a 44 cubic millimeters per second vo uh, max volumetric flow rate in the slicer and most of my uh, features are being printed at uh, 375 millimeters a second speed uh, with the exception of uh, first layers and top layers where I'm only printing those at 80 millimeters a second speed. Um, so yeah, this sliced in the in the slicer it estimated it would be about a 33 minute print uh, so I'm curious to see what the quality looks like at these speeds. Um, yeah, I might still slow it down for anything where I need absolute, you know, premium quality. Um, but for functional parts, if I can turn them out faster, um, I think this might be a good compromise. So um, I haven't done any actual volumetric flow rate testing. Uh, I based the 44 cubic millimeters a second on. Uh, existing numbers that I found in other people's documentation and, and websites so um, it may be that I'm a little bit above or below that depending on other parameters that I'm printing with um, I might do some actual volumetric flow testing as a, as a next step here to see where my limits are but uh, right now this is going pretty snappy I'd say um, travel speeds are at uh, 15,000 and travel sorry travel uh, accelerations are at 15,000 and travel speeds are at 600 for this print. Um, so that's you know making it go a little bit faster. I might need to uh, play with the square corner values uh, in order to get some sharper definition on the corners, but I'll see what I get after this and uh, adjust accordingly. Anyway, if you have any comments, uh, feel free to leave them below, and thanks again for watching.